Born in 1932 in San Francisco's Chinatown, Roland Lowe was the only child of two outspoken parents. Both were activists who taught Roland to sacrifice the me for the greater we. My parents always said that we should always help the less fortunate ones. And it's a philosophy that they put in me to always be giving to the community. Rollin would excel in academics, finishing high school at age 15, graduating from UC Berkeley at 18, and UCSF Medical School at 22. Instead of accepting a more lucrative position, he chose to treat low-income patients for more than 40 years in San Francisco's Chinatown. He's perfect. <laughs> no, Rollin is a very nice guy. He helped other people and then, you know, to do whatever he had to do. Kathy has been by Rollins' side since meeting in high school, when both were members of a group called the Munching, a youth activist organization. They've now been married for almost 60 years. And I knew from the beginning I needed a person who had the same philosophy as I do. So and so understanding why I do it, then she could help me along with me being a busy doctor and a busy community activist. She had to single-handedly raise the kids. Kathy was more than just a wife and a mother of three. She was also heavily involved in the community. As a member of Square and Circle, the Chinese Hospital Auxiliary, and as the board chair for Chinese for Affirmative Action. Kathy was very strong. She didn't, you know, talk as much as Rollin, uh, but she was very clear about what were the civil rights challenges and what Chinese for Affirmative Action and other groups needed to do to challenge the powers to be so that members of our community would have equal access to services and would have access to their rights. During his long career at the Chinese hospital, Rollins served as its chief of surgery, chief of staff, and its board of trustees chairman. He would become the first Asian American to be president of both the San Francisco Medical Society and the California Medical Association. Despite his busy schedule, he's worked with dozens of nonprofits, including the Chinese Newcomer Service Center. He says this organization is extremely valuable for new immigrants. Looking for a job. Social Security set up a bank account. The Chinese newcomer, since I've known them for over 40 years, they have people working with their heart. Both the board and the staff has a big heart, often working under difficult situations and that's why I support them. Roland and Kathy have not just given their time, talent, and money to the Chinese community, but to a diverse group of organizations. In 1999, the Lowe's were invited to the White House and recognized by President Clinton and his wife Hillary. And in August of 2014, a lifetime of giving was capped off by a million dollar donation to the Asian Health Services in Oakland. The medical center is now named after them. Thank you all very much. You're all giants. It's your heart to touch our heart. Thank you. Money and fame have never been the driving forces for Kathy and Rollin. The Lowe's believe true wealth is the satisfaction of being able to help your community be a better place. That, they say, is truly priceless.